Hey, what's up everybody? Matt here with CF Pro Tools Support, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to use the uh, Slick Slider add-on, which allows you to kind of create a, uh, a sliding, like sliding testimonials, sliding images, or sliding elements uh, anywhere on your page, and it's actually kind of cool. So real quick, um, here's how you would uh, set this up inside of the app. So the first thing you're going to want to do if you're inside of your, uh, inside of CF Pro Tools, is click Create New and type in slick slider all right this actually replaces an old add-on called unslider which kind of uses a new script new script technology um, which we used to have one I, that was called unslider and um, it didn't it stopped working on mobile devices so now we use the slick slider technology and uh, that's pretty much it so I'm just gonna call this Live test two. There's no configuration to this, so just give it a name. You can use this on other pages, and uh, just the on-page configuration is what would be different. So I'm going to click that red add-on or create add-on button. It says that it was created successfully, and I'm just going to come down here and copy that code by clicking the blue button, and we're going to get out of here and go check out the uh, the page. So let's go over to location test here, whatever it was. I was actually testing the uh, location swap add-on earlier, and uh, so I just added on to that. I was like, well, what if I wanted to make a page where there's some uh, some pictures or some testimonials or something sliding across? So here's what your on-page configuration would look like. Uh, you would actually just literally stack the pictures. Um, and I'll show you this down here in a little bit. What if you just wanted to stack some pictures and or some testimonials and have them slide across? You just stack them up like this, and then you go to the container um, where this is lo located, and then you would actually give it a name. Like in this case, it's a uh, container is the row. So we're going to go to the row settings, click on that settings cogwheel, go down to the hashtag down here, and we're going to call this CF dash slick dash slider. And we're going to hit the update again, that CF-slick-slider. So what that's doing, the code is saying if you find any rows with this name, do this with the uh, with the elements. Speaking of that, we're going to go into the uh, settings here. We're going to go into tracking code. And we're going to go to our footer code. And what we're going to do, this is the old code here. So I'm just going to take that out. Um, I just created that new code. We're going to pop that in. And uh, that's what it would look like, okay? So um, I'm going to hit the X button hit save and I'm going to show you what that would look like and then I'm going to show you one other thing you can do this with a section as well so if you have like a bunch of elements or a bunch of rows inside of a section you can actually go to the settings uh, at the row at the you can go into the settings at the section level and then name that cf-slick-slider as well all right so let's go here real quick and see how this would look and it would look like this. Say these are testimonials. They're just sliding across. Um, it will look a little better if the pictures are all the same size. Um, but if it, you know, do what you need to do, make it look the way that you want that to look. So I'm going to do one other thing here. I'm going to show you how this would work in like a uh, two, um, two rows or two sections, like a two, like a double column row like this. What if you had a bunch of pictures, testimonials, and you wanted those? to slide but it was in a uh, like a row like this and you just wanted the left hand column to be the the column where the pictures actually slid we are going to do it like this so the way that you find that row uh, section because it's not this row you wouldn't want to go to this row setting that's for the entire container you would actually come up to your rows up here and go to manage and you would go to the uh, go to the correct one um, I think that's not, you know what, I'm going to go to columns, because there's two columns, not the row. So we come down here, where it splits the columns, and you can actually hover over one or the other and see which one highlights, and go, okay, it's this one. So I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to come down here to the hashtag, and then I'm just going to rename this cf-slick-slider, -cf and I'm going to click update. And then uh, you can't see it here until you actually save the page and go and check it out on page but that was the only thing that needed to change in this scenario so all I did was stack the pictures that I wanted to show and then I gave that column its own CSS title of CF-slick-slider let's go to preview and see how this works alright so 
This one still works, but if you come down here, you'll actually see the uh, see that other row that I've made as well. I might have put too much stuff in there because it's uh, a little bit more than the picture. So uh, I'm a little OCD, so I like to see everything you know being dressed right, dress and have it look perfect. I'm like, oh, that's way too much. Um, and I like to see my pictures generally the right size, so this is actually bothering me. But for the purpose of this example, uh, just to make sure you guys understand how this works, this is how it works. Um, and hopefully you guys picked up on this. If you guys have any questions on how uh, you can make yours work, please give me a shout. Let me know if I can assist you in support, and uh, I'll help you out as best as I can, okay? Take care, and have a great day.